Thank you to Dr. Strangelove61 for their generous donation as a YouTube member. If you would like to join them in their generosity, the link to become a YouTube member is in the description, or you can click the join button down below. There's a little cafe in the shopping center near the theaters that I'd like to go to. I've only been in there once before, but I got a vanilla milkshake from them that was absolutely perfect. I could totally go for one of those right now. Sounds like a great idea. I'm down for that. Let's head home and get the car and we'll go there. All right. Cafe do ba do ba do do cafe sound boo ba do ba do do song I meant do 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 yeah. I've seen this place before, but I never stopped here. I stopped by here once with Darius. We went to see a movie and we walked through here and grabbed some food. We should have called him to see if he wanted to join us. Next time. For now, though, it's just. Oh, hey, uh, wow, that was not. <laughs> oh, I'm Chester! No, that's. <laughs> Alright, guys. Us. <laughs> hey, you two! <laughs> I was gonna remark that this is the same place that, I believe the same place that uh, Chester took us in his route to get, uh, what, boba tea? Spencer's miffed. He's like, God damn it, I wanted this to just be the two of us. What a coincidence seeing you both here. Yeah, coincidence. Ah, God damn it. Same to you. Spencer wanted a milkshake, so we ended up here. We just finished eating lunch and we're about to head off to one of the other shops. You gonna hang around a little bit longer, though, so we can chat with them? Shouldn't you ask them if they want to hang out first? What if they're on a date? Oh, it's fine. Right, Spence? Yeah, it's fine. We can chat with them, too. I'm sorry, I should have asked first. We won't intrude long, I promise. You're okay, Chester. Let's grab another table. Right. So much for being just the two of us. Should I have not said it was okay? No, it's fine. I just wanted more time alone with you is all. We have the rest of the day. I don't imagine they'll hang around for long. <laughs> yeah, right. They're going to be like fucking extended family. They'll just be there for fucking ever. Yeah. Let's get a snack and go chat with them. I'm really craving that milkshake. Spencer got his milkshake, and you decided on one of your own. After your drinks were acquired, you joined Dozer and Chester. Where'd you guys get? I got a chocolate banana shake, and Spencer got a vanilla one. Just vanilla? That's the most boring thing you can get, though. But you like vanilla. Well, yeah, but you don't come here just to get a vanilla shake. They make the best vanilla shakes I've ever had, though. They use vanilla bean, so it doesn't just taste like fake vanilla. Oh, I see. That's understandable, then. Vanilla bean is way better than normal vanilla. <laughs> it's fucking me up. I used to work at a Starbucks, so hearing vanilla bean is just like... Argh! I can't taste normal vanilla all that well, but vanilla bean really stands out to me. What about chocolate banana? You offered your drink to him, but he declined it. Will chocolate kill you if you eat it? Ah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> it won't, so don't worry. It'll make me hyper, though, and too much of it gives me an upset stow match. I think that's the case with most people. Too much for me would be a single chocolate bar. Well, that sucks. It's not that big a deal. I don't care for chocolate that much anyway. Good to know. That, means, that just means any chocolate you get belongs to me. Mm hmm. How's your ankle, Spencer? Better since Adam brought me the crotch. I hate using the thing, but I guess it's better to use it than to put myself through extra pain. Yeah. You'll get better soon. So just take it easy for now. Have you guys been doing those stretches? Yep. Did it this morning, and we did it just before coming here, too. Good, good. <laughs> He saw Dozer's arm move and Chester jumped. <laughs> Do that a few times a day, and it'll help with the recovery. I'd say by Friday, you should be fine to stop using the crutch, as long as you aren't feeling a lot of pain when you walk. Perfect. I really appreciate you helping out, Dozer. Thank you for what you've done. 
You're welcome. I'm happy to help. It's like having a free doctor on call. I'm far from that. My career choice and knowledge just so happen to fall in line with his injury. We know who to look for, look to for our injury-related needs, then. You should always consult a professional first, but I'll be glad to offer advice when I can. I guess. Anyway, we need to have another double date night. Me and Dozer can cook again, and we can all go to the arcade or to the movies or something. I had a lot of fun when we did it the other night. It was a really good time. We should plan something for next week. Yeah, after day 35, you know, after the end. <laughs> Not this week. We have a lot going on this week, so between work and other plans, I don't think we'd have time. Oh. Don't worry, Chess. We'll get to do it again soon. Yeah, I'm pretty much free every night. I have Wednesday and Thursday nights off. Well, I'm off Thursday. If you guys want to, we can do something on Thursday. Sounds like fun to me. I'm free too. Then it looks like we have plans for next Thursday. Yeah. Oh, yes, next Thursday, okay. <laughs> I, I always feel uncomfortable in those instances where like everyone else is free, but I'm not, and so I'm like, yeah, I can't say no because everyone else said yes, and Jesus, scheduling with adults is hard. Yes! You leave dinner to us, and we'll leave the after-dinner plans to you two. How's that sound? It's good with me. Same here. Sweet! I can't wait! I'm down to do anything you guys decide on. Hmm, so what should we cook for dinner? We can talk about it while we walk around. Good idea. Maybe something will inspire me. We'll leave you guys to finish your date. Come on, Dozer! And he's gone already. I guess we'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> See you later, Dozer. Thanks again for what you've done for me. You're welcome. See you guys. Chester's really excited now. Very much so. You moved around the table so you were now directly across from Spencer. You don't want to sit beside me anymore? I'd rather sit across from you so I can look at you. Such a handsome guy, I could look, I could do this all day. Well, you're in luck, cause I have all day. What do you know? So do I. He reached across the table and put his hands on top of yours while he leaned over to slurp on his straw. The way you leaned over sucking on that straw reminds me of how you sucked your dick the other day. Spencer snorted and pulled up, covering his mouth as he coughed violently. <laughs> You're not supposed to choke on it, jeez! He didn't choke on any of the other nights, so why start now? <laughs> look at, look at Smile Magoo over here. During his cough, he chucked a handful of napkins at you and pulled one up to his snout. However, you saw past his distraction napkins. Uh, exclamation point. Did Milkshake come out your nose? <laughs> He saw you a look that confirmed what you thought, and his coughing subsided after another minute. Was now really the appropriate time to mention that? I wasn't expecting you to choke on your milkshake. I didn't say it loud enough for anyone else to hear it either. Coughing fit drew more attention than anything. You're an ass. But I'm your ass. I might have to rethink my choices. See if I ever give you another show like that again. Next time, I'll be doing more than just watching, though. Let's not talk about that in public right now. I'd like to be able to get up and leave when I want. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. What am I going to do with you? Well, a ah, rhetorical question. Don't even go there. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> He rolled his eyes, leaned back, and picked up his milkshake for further drinking. You were both quiet, and you were just starting to staring at your drink while you thought of something else to say. So, tell me, hmm, what's something I do that makes you smile? Huh? I was just thinking about what we could talk about, and it was something I read before about conversation starters. Oh, um, something you do that makes me smile. Uh, 
seeing you get excited over something makes me smile. You tend to be so genuine with your excitement. It's especially great when it's over something uh, that I that I might think is insignificant. Like seeing you get excited over the variety of milkshakes they offer here. You barely decide what you wanted. There's so many choices. <laughs> there are, but I thought it was really cute how you reacted. And that kind of attribute makes me smile. Aww. And seeing your face turn red when you're embarrassed is great too. I enjoy seeing that. Another smile in the goo. Let's see. And there's waking up next to you in the morning. Rolling over to see your mouth hanging open. First thing is a great way to start the day. It's hard not to laugh when you're drooling, but it really makes me happy. Oh gosh, you've seen me drooling? Yesterday morning, as a matter of fact. You must have been really out of it after our fun. I did crash hard that night. I slept so good. So, what about you then? What's something about me that makes you smile? Where to begin? Whenever I see you wagging your tail, or when you get that really happy look on your face with your tongue hanging out, those things make me smile all the time. It's even better when you try to stop your tail from wagging, because you kind of wiggle your hips around when you do. You've noticed that? <laughs> I love it. Seeing your dog-like nature slip out despite your best attempts to not let it really makes me grin. You have this composed, serious, mature demeanor, but you have your moments of pucky puppy-like behavior. It's so endearing. Just thinking about it makes me happy. <laughs> even now I see your tail wagging. I'm not even gonna try to hide it. It's pointless, really. I like your from-behind surprise hugs, too. They're so warm, and your fur is so soft. I need more of that. I'll try to remember to give you more, then. I like feeling you against me. It was your turn to grab his paws, and you looked at him in the eye with a smile spread across your face. And look at me now, smiling like a fool. You're not the only one. There's plenty you do that makes me smile. Same to you. How about we get up and walk around some more now? Do a little window shopping. We can talk more while we walk. Sure, we can do that. Oh, well, we don't have this picture, but okay. It's been a while since I just strolled through somewhere like this. Same here. It always feels weird doing it alone. <laughs> yeah. Having someone with you that makes it having someone with you makes it way more enjoyable. Strolled along with Spencer, pausing at each window to see what the stores had to offer. A lot of these places sell clothes, it looks like. Yeah, but there are some other stores mixed in with them. Well, if you wanna go into any of them, let me know. Ah, oh, we're definitely going into this one though. And this is Spenders? Spenders? Oh, oh, I get it. Okay, it's Spencer's, but it's not Spencer's, and we're on Spencer's route, and it's really funny. <laughs> oh man, I haven't been in one of these in ages. I grew out of this stuff. Let's see if anything has changed. Nothing has changed in one of those things. Hot Topic changed. Spencer's? Nah, Spencer's is exactly the fucking same. I got my first uh, gummy dick there. Uh, learn that. Uh, if dicks were flavored differently, I'd be really good at blowing. Uh, that is not. <laughs> that is not. That is a Walmart. That is not. <laughs> Spencer's is like the anti-Walmart, even though it is just as corporate. It's weird. The, sh the store was full of novelty items, things that ranged from game and movie themed apparel to strobe lights and lava lamps. The walls were covered in a huge variety of merchandise. Looks like they sell the same things as always. <laughs> yeah. Ah, check it out! They have black lights and fiber optic pl optics plants. You have one of these lights in your room? I had a black light and one of those strobe lights. I thought it was the coolest thing at the time. 
The black light was so cool, I had to get one too. That's right, you did get one. You even put this really funky neon poster of a dragon below it. In turn, I had to get one too. <laughs> I think the poster is still hanging in my brother's room with the lights. I ended up selling mine when I lost my job. Oh, that kind of sucks. It's whatever. It was in a box for the longest time. It's not like I was using it. You want to get a new one for your bedroom? <laughs> You're not being serious, are you? Dead serious. I think I'll pass. Mostly because I see something else we could get. Really? What is it? This? You motion to a small rack of collars. Yep, I, yep, like I said, I. they got some kinky shit there. I got the, was it a blue raspberry? No, it was a strawberry dick. Had like the uh, sugar on it. The sugar didn't last long, but that gummy sure did. Don't eat it though. That gummy tastes like absolute shit, but like the slight flavoring and the sugar, that was nice. And then of course just sucking on one was very pleasant. Motion to a rack of collars. Oh, you want to get one of these for me? I liked how it looked on you in my dream, so... This one even looks just like the one you were wearing in the dream. Well, if you want to get one, I wouldn't be opposed to it. We're definitely getting it. Just make sure it fits properly. In the middle of the store? They don't have a fitting room, and it's just a collar. It's not like you're getting naked. Okay. Spencer stood up straight while you put the collar around his neck, and you could see he, he had no control of his tail wagging quickly behind him. Oh, God, there it is. There it... Jesus. How does it look? Even better than it looked, uh, than it looked on Dream You. We're buying it, then? Yep. You want to just wear it out of here? I would, but you know Dozer and Chester are still around, and I'd rather not rather them not see it. I'm shocked they haven't appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am too. That does happen a lot in this game. I <laughs> wouldn't be surprised if they did show up. Ah, oh, come on, you're really building up to this. Yeah, let me take this off real quick, and I'll pay for it. Yen did the collar, and he held you by your waist and stared into your eyes. You really like how it looks on me? Yeah, it looks great. I'll wear it around the house for you if you want me to. Hmm. Yeah, you can wear it the rest of the day when we get back. And I will. Am I gonna have to get an inscribed tag for it too? Put your name, address, and phone number on it? I'm not gonna get lost. Then should I put property of Adam on it instead? I could go to the opposite side of I could go on the opposite side of Spencer. Then that's what I'll do then. I guess I'll have to go to the pet store to get one. Eyes might have a machine there too. True. We'll check on that another day. Jesus Christ, kinky bastards. I think it's about time I get you home so you can rest. We've walked, walked around a lot. I've got a little longer in me. I'm okay still. We're not gonna push it. We've been we've been going for a few hours. How about we go home? I'll rub your ankle for a bit and then cook dinner. After dinner, we'll play some games and watch a movie and cuddle on the couch or something. I want you off your feet. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's be on our way then. I won't argue with you this time. You'd better not. You'd better not. Do -do 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 -do. Now they're back home. You convinced Spencer to let you drive home, and once you were back, he plopped on the couch as you sat on, sat on the floor to stretch his ankle. Uh, I think I'll let you keep doing this even once my ankle's healed. Feels really good. You're on your feet a lot, so I'm sure it feels good. He moved away from his ankle and gave his calf a squeeze and a rub. I bet this would feel good after one of those busy days, too. Uh, it feels good even after a slow day. And after a long night of work, I'll rub your legs before bed. As long as I'm awake, that is. I'll try to get home earlier than usual, then. Extra time with you is always good. It's even better when you spoil me like this. <laughs> I try. 
And speaking of spoiling you, do you have anything in mind you want for dinner? You have more chicken to cook, right? I want chicken. <laughs> yeah, I got two more breasts I need to cook. There was a recipe that Maria put in the cookbook for called uh, Chicken a la King. What's that? I think it was chicken and pasta, but, uh, but not like a cheesy one that we had before. I don't have to look at the recipe again. It's chicken, so I'm fine with that as long as you're up to the task of cooking it. I guess we'll find out. I'll go check the recipe in a minute and to make sure we have everything for it, and I'll start cooking in about an hour. And after dinner, I get more pets, and brushing, and scratching, and rubbing the works. Maybe we could have dinner early. We shall not have dinner early. You ran your fingers along the underside of his foot, making his toes curl and his legs in his leg jitter. Besides, who says I can't do that until it's time for me to cook dinner too? Oh, let me check on that recipe real quick. I'll be back in a minute. You popped into the kitchen and read over the recipe, and after making sure you had all you needed for it, you returned to the living room. Well, thank God that this formerly single bachelor who barely cooked anything seemingly has a fully stocked fucking cabinet full of everything you could possibly need. Because we have not gone grocery shopping. <laughs> oh, he's got the collar on. He's got the collar on. He did it. Oh, man. Do we have all you need? We do. So I'll start dinner soon. I see you've decided to put your collar on, too. I told you I'd wear it for the rest of the day for you. I like how it feels, too. I like how it looks. You sat beside Spencer and you motioned for him to lay across your lap. He was quick about it and draped himself across you right away. <laughs> Someone in the Discord chat always is, drapes across person. Like, oh man, it's cute. Head or chest? Head. <laughs> Everybody needs head, or what is that? What do you want, head? I don't know. Al Snow, look him up. You put one hand on his head, and you stuffed the other one down his pants. So, head and head. He grunted and growled quietly when he scratched through his furry pubic area. Oh, boy. Which one? Can it be both? Maybe after dinner, if you clean your plate. Since you're giving me a choice, you can stick to the lower one, then. You laughed, but you didn't pull your hand out of his pants. Instead, you left it there, massaging the area, sl area slowly while scratching him behind the, his ears. I'll do more after dinner. This is the most you get for now. Feels good regardless, so I'm okay with that. Took no time at all for his pants to bulge out from the boner he got from your attention. You wanna put something on the TV for us to watch while I do this? Mm, I can. What do you wanna watch? Anything you want to watch, it's really just for background noise for me. Then, can we keep it off and just enjoy each other's company to the fullest? <laughs> that works for me too. Do you have any more of those conversation starter topics? Despite us being friends for so long, I'm sure there's still plenty for us to learn about each other. Um, where's my fucking mouse? Oh, there it is. Tell me about some of your pet peeves. I don't think I know any of those. I'd like to avoid them if I'm guilty of committing any. Oh, that's a good one. I don't think you've triggered any of my peeves yet. If you had, I would have already told you. So, what are they? One of the biggest ones I have is people being late. Or people making me run late. So if we ever plan on doing something at a certain time, don't make me late. Not too bad. I don't like being late myself, so I think that's something we can agree on. What about you? Uh, shopping cart returns? What? Speakerphone in public? Yeah. Hearing someone chew. Uh, I, I don't know why would this would be a choice, but if I had to choose, I don't really care about the shopping cart returns other than the motorized carts. Okay, and, and that's not on the people who take them. I have to use a motorized cart at the grocery store. I cannot stay on my feet for the entirety of a grocery store visit, unfortunately. But when the fucking door attendants, part of their job, and that's why there's usually multiple of them, is to fucking go get the goddamn motorized carts. Because those things take forever to charge, the battery dies like instantly on those things. 
So you need to bring them out from outside, especially during the cold, get them out of the parking lot, back on the chargers, charge them, because there are a lot of handicapped people that need those fucking things, and I don't know how many goddamn times I've gone in and either the only ones there are like dead and you like the battery doesn't last near as long as the trip does, and I only go to the store when I only need a handful of things. Uh, okay, otherwise, I'm a fucking hermit. I stay home in any and all circumstances, even before the pandemic. Um, but so that either the battery dies or there's just none. There just isn't any. And I don't know what the fuck to do at that point. So I try to get what I can and then I wind up not being able to get many things and I'm in fucking pain because I could only be on my feet for maybe five, ten minutes, maybe one to five minutes probably before I fucking am in pain. But the, the fucking pushy carts, I don't really mind that as much. I don't use them, and there's like a billion of them, but there's only like a handful of the motorized carts. So that shit. And that's and it's not on the handicapped people that bring them to their car, because what, are they supposed to put them back, plug them in, and then walk their handicap ass back out to the car with all their groceries? Like, that doesn't work. It's, it's on the door attendants or the cart pushers or whoever the fuck to actually work on that shit. And they're not hard to spot if you're actually attending the door. Fuck. Uh, and if it's a matter of manpower, Walmart's a fucking gigantic company. Just hire some more fucking people. Crime in Italy. Um, but I know it's on some of the workers at the specific Walmart I go to. Because when some people are working, the fucking things are always there, they're fully stocked, and they're, they're on the charger, probably done. Other days, some people just, if they do bring them back, they don't plug them in, which is fucking stupid. Uh, or they just don't bring them back at all. Or they did whatever. Like, fuck. The speakerphone in public, that's fucking obnoxious, because headphones are really inexpensive now, but also... Bro. Just use the fucking speaker. This is stupid. You hold your phone like this. Just hold your fucking phone. Why do you talk into your phone like this? It's so... F it's, it's unnecessary. It's two fucking degrees. Hearing someone chew doesn't bother me at fucking all. Um... I guess I'll go with the fucking shopping cart one. Because that... Uh... It's... Well, here's... It, I... I mean it in one way that is probably not what they mean there. So, I can agree with the intention of the game's definitions of the shopping, of like, what these things are for the speakerphone. People use their speakerphone in public. Like, I don't need to hear your entire conversation while we're standing in line. Yeesh, I had a guy like that in the club last week. He was screaming into his phone all night and he got a lot of annoyed looks shot at him. Some people, I swear. Give me another thing that annoys you now. When people tip me with wet money, or they leave their tips on a puddle of water on the table. First of all, why is the money you're handing me wet? What is it wet with? I've seen women pull money from their bras, or even some guys who pull money from their shoes. Ew, that's nasty. It's horrifying when I grab wet money. And if I'm only wearing my jock, you stick wet money in it, and that's, I'm not coming back to you ever. You should be scrubbing yourself every night when you get home. We have fur sanitizer in the back that helps with all the grime, so I make sure to keep myself clean. Good. I don't want you coming to bed and after having gross, wet money rubbed all over you. I'll make sure I shower before bed. I'll admit, I normally wait until the morning, but I can understand why you'd, uh, why you'd want that. Maybe I'll wash all the bedding tomorrow, too. That's not a bad idea. Just make sure everything is completely dried before putting it on the bed. Of course, I don't want damp blankets. You know, that's another peeve of mine. Damp blankets? Taking something out of the dryer to put on, only to find out that something like the pockets or the crotch is still damp. They've, they haven't replaced the dryers in the apartments in a while, so you have to make sure everything is dried long enough. Uh, that's good to know. I don't want to do something that'll irritate you. I'll do whatever I can not to brush your fur the wrong way. As you said that, you pushed your hand the wrong way through his fur to make it all stick up and elicit a little growl from Spencer. It's best for everyone if you don't. 
Is there anything really egregious that I should avoid? Please take out the trash when it gets full, or if you put something particularly smelly in it. My nose is sensitive, and the smells can really get to me. And don't just set it outside the front door for later. People do that around here, and I hate it. It can leak, or something can tear a hole in it, and then the smell just lingers around outside. Take two minutes, and go toss it in the dumpster, please. <laughs> okay, I can definitely stay on top of that. And be sure you turn the lights off in rooms you're in. There's no need to waste power. Another thing I'll make sure to do. Anything else? Try not to waste any food. If we have leftovers, let's make sure we eat them before making too much more food. I'll eat just about anything, so if there's something that needs to go, just tell me and I'll take care of it. I really try not to waste anything. Oh, that's good to know too. It'll help with the smells too. Mm -hmm. And it saves money. What if dinner is really bad though? As long as it's cooked, I'll eat it. The taste of it won't bother me as much, so I won't let it go to waste. Even if you do a terrible job. It almost sounds like you're expecting it. I never know with you. Hey, I've only cooked good food for you so far. So far. For all I know, dinner tonight will be a disaster. As long as I follow the recipe, I'm sure it'll be fine. He squeezed his pubic region, shook it around, and pulled your hand up to his head. He ruffled his head for around and pulled lightly on his ears. You complain at all, I'll never cook for you again either. I won't complain. I'm thankful that you cook for me. Same goes for you, though. You better not complain about my cooking anymore. Mm, complain and you'll be stuck buying all your own food and watching me cook for just myself. Oh, the humanity, having to watch you cook for one and eat your own cooking. Whatever would I do? Spencer glared at you and you only grinned at him. I promise not to give you a hard time if your cooking goes awry. I know you can't be perfect at everything. I do not appreciate your snark. He snorted and crossed his arms over his chest. I know what you do appreciate, though. He resumed rubbing his ears, mixing in head scratches, and even scratching down his thick fluff on his neck. He snorted again and followed it up with a deep sigh as his grumpy look in his face softened. <laughs> I know exactly what to do. A look of confusion spread over his face when you lifted his head up, but confusion was replaced with a smile, one that he tried to hide when you kissed his nose. I love you. His eyes focused on yours, and he wasn't able to keep the smile from taking over. I love you, too. Even if you're a butt, I'm your butt. <laughs> you kissed him again, and it was, but it was on his lips this time. He gave your lips a quick lick uh, as you rose up and got back to petting him. He is a dog. You stayed on the couch with him for a little while longer, and you felt guilty when you decided to get up and go cook dinner. It's puppy law, man. Spencer looked like he was on the verge of falling asleep, and you could have sworn he was snoring at one point. Do you really have to cook now? If you want to eat dinner, yes. And the sooner dinner is done, the sooner we can resume this. Uh, anything I can help you with? Nah, you just stay here. It's a pretty easy dish, I think. I'll call you when it's ready, so you just keep on relaxing, okay? Okay. He sat up just long enough for you to stand, and after you gave him a kiss on his forehead, he, you went to the kitchen. Alright, let's get dinner started. Alright, dinner's done. <laughs> you can tell it's been a while, because he came in on the other side of the screen. That wasn't too hard to make, and the sauce tastes pretty good to me. Spencer should be satisfied with this. Spence, dinner time! I've been drooling over myself for the last ten minutes. It smells delicious. Sit down, I'll make you a plate. You better pile it on. <laughs> what if you don't like it? I told you already, I'll eat it all regardless. 
Judging by the way it smells, I think I'll like it, though. Okay. He did as he requested and piled the past on his plate and topped it with the chicken sauce you had prepared. So, the sauce is made with chicken bouillon, butter, flour, and milk. And chunks of chicken and vegetables in it, too. The recipe made a lot, so eat as much as you want. You put a plate down for him, grabbed your own, and joined him. All right, so what's your verdict? He sniffed the food on his plate and shoveled a full fork of it into his mouth. He tilted his head back and forth while he chewed and ended it with a nod. It's good. You did a great job with it. It's something I could eat every day. You like it that much? Mm-hmm. Thank you for cooking again. <laughs> You're welcome. Like I said, there's plenty more to eat if you want it. I'll save it for later. This plate will be enough for now. I'll have to thank Maria for the recipes, too. Yeah, they've been easy to prepare, and they are delicious. We should invite her and Richard over sometime soon and cook for them. We have a double date with Chester and Dozer next week, so maybe we can save Maria and Richard for the following week. Okay, good, so we'll push them off even further past when this route ends. Just no more, no more extras, just stick to the plot. Not a bad idea. I'll have to give her a call and talk to her about that. About it. Barely five minutes passed and Spencer's plate was empty. He even went so far as licking it completely clean. You took cleaning your plate, literally. It was all so good, I didn't want to waste any of it. It'll be easier to wash, too. <laughs> True. Well, you don't have to sit around and wait for me to finish and go get the game ready for us to play. It'll give you a chance to warm up. How kind of you. Maybe I should get one of the new consoles. Nintendo just released a new one, right? Oh, Christ. Oh, yeah. It's The newest one is the Nintendo Swap. Dine, you can suck the biggest, fattest, darkest part of my asshole with these fucking fake-ass names. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... Oi, Christ and vey. I'll get a new one with games neither of us are familiar with and shut you down. <laughs> you can try. I've seen commercials for the new games. I think that some of them look like fun. I bet Chester has one already. He likes to play games. If he does, maybe we can play it during our date. We'll see if you can do any better with a game neither of us have played. You're a cocky bastard, you know that? I think I'll fix that tonight. <laughs> Good luck, you can choose any game you want. You sure really you sound really sure of yourself. Know what? If you lose a single game to me tonight, you are on cleaning duty all week. Even if I make the biggest mess or leave my clothes all over the house, it's up to you to clean up after me. And if I win them all, cleaning duty's on me. Ooh, time to relax for me then, I like it. You're on. Good. In that case, I'll go get things ready and start warming up. I don't need to warm up and we can get into it as soon as I'm done. I'm finishing eating, so you better make the most of it. I don't have much to clean up. Take as much time as you need. He could be so competitive. Let's see how he fares tonight. I have a feeling there are some quick time events coming up, so I'm going to get my fucking fingers ready. You took your time cleaning the kitchen, giving Spencer a chance to get ready for playing against you. Something was off, though. You could hear the sounds of whatever Spencer was playing, but it wasn't sounds you could place. Okay, what are you playing this time? What? You don't remember Kerbo's Golf Course? Kerbo's Golf Course. Fuck it. Just move on. Oh, I remember this one. I just didn't know you had it. Probably because it was wedged behind some other things on the shelf. 
I found it the other night. Wait, is this what you fell asleep playing? Yeah, it is. I was getting hole-in-one shots pretty consistently by the time I fell asleep. Still feeling confident. I feel like I've been cheated. Hmm. You're so good, though. I'm sure you remember exactly how to play. I'll let you choose the course since you didn't need to warm up any. In that case... Oh, fuck. Sorry. In that case, we'll play the most difficult set of stages. It's the best chance I have. <laughs> I thought you might do something like that. Don't tell me. I spend most time, the, the most time on that set. <laughs> Shall we get started? I hope you're ready to lose. That didn't sound as confident as before. Let your fingers do the talking. Tickled his fingers along your thighs, and after you swatted him, the game began. Your confidence began to wane after the first couple of levels on the game, Spencer. Uh, get on the game that. What? <laughs> I can eat chicken strips. I can eat chicken strips all fucking day. I don't eat chicken strips all the fucking- Can you microwave them though, bro? Cause they're fucking, like, cold. I need to look into life insurance. Your confidence began to wane after the first couple of levels of the game left Spencer several points ahead. You've fallen behind already? You better pick up the pace or you'll need a miracle to come back. I'm getting in the groove, so just you wait. I'll catch up before you know what happened. I wouldn't count on it since I've been going easy on you. I haven't even unveiled my secret weapon yet. Secret weapon? Mm-hmm. I'll only use it if I absolutely have to. Keep playing how you are and I won't have to bother. The gap between you and Spencer stayed constant. You refused to let him pull ahead more than he had, and he couldn't lengthen his lead. You entered the final round, almost neck and neck. What kind of play was that? You knocked me off the map! Cost me my turn, but it also tied the score and took your turn too. Now it's my chance to take the lead. Uh, no way you're gonna win. I don't know. I have a pretty clear shot of the goal and I don't think your attention was pulled away from the TV as when Spencer stood up and stripped off his shirt, tossing it to the floor. He followed it up by slowly pushing his pants and underwear to the floor to expose his full, bare body. Well, thanks for the heads up there, Dine. Let's fucking get some grapes. And the grapes? What are you doing? He shook his tail at you and sat back down. You made me resort to using my secret weapon. You were distracted long enough to where you ran out of time for your turn. I'm also lined up with the goal to take the lead. That's so cheap! But two can play at that game. He's a stripper, he's used to seeing naked people. You retaliated by jumping up and shoving your shorts into the floor, leaving you wearing nothing more than a shirt while sitting next to a naked Spencer. That doesn't mean anything. Too late! He had already made his play, so you could only sit and watch as his character bounced and rolled across the screen and into the goal. And there we have it! Bow before me, for I am victorious! Oh man, you cheating bastard. He dropped his controller and threw his arms up in a triumph. I told you I'd win tonight! Congratulate or complain? Ooh, let's, let's muse on that over a chicken strip. So, what are, the, ow, what are the pros and cons here? It's fucking hot. Oh. Honestly, he feels so fucking happy and whatever. I don't want to fucking make him feel bad. So let's just congratulate him. If you're just bitter about it, like, whatever. Yeah, you won tonight. Congrats on your well-earned victory. Looks like I'll be on cleaning duty next week. Listen to you, being a good sport and all, even though I use some sneaky tactics. He put his arm around your shoulder and pulled you over to kiss your cheek. I don't suppose it's any different than the exploits I used when we were playing together the other night. 
I feel like my tactics were way more effective. I'd say I was distracted long enough to miss my entire turn. You weren't phased by my retaliation one bit. Only because I took my turn right away. By the time your shorts hit the floor, I'd already lined up my shot and taken it. Put his hand on your bare leg and give it a squeeze. I do like how you tried to counter me. It was a bold move. Speak for yourself making such a move to distract me. I strip for a living, so it's not really that big of a deal for me. He flopped over on your lap and held your paws, held his paws, palms up, against his chest. It's time for my victory pets now. I don't recall that being one of your rewards. It's just as much of a reward for you as it is for me. He grabbed a handful of his neck fluff and gently shook his head while around while scratching through his fur. Guess you deserve it. I did promise to give you more anyway. We can have a rematch in a little bit. You might stand a chance since I have nothing else up my sleeve. Maybe I'll have something else, uh, something up my sleeve this time. Oh, we can't have that. He sat up again, and after some struggling and laughter, he pulled your shirt off and lay back over your lap. Now you have no sleeves to hide anything in. Got me there. He grabbed his chest, squeezing and rolling his pectorals in circles. Your fear, your fur, your fear, <laughs> your fear feels so nice. When when winter rolls around, I won't have any trouble staying warm at night. It'll get a little thicker by then too. I'll be extra fluffy. <laughs> That's right. You do always look bigger in the winter. It also means you'll have to spend a little extra time brushing me to help keep it looking good. You'll have to spend more time with me then. Nothing wrong with that. What? Oh, the fucking music just stopped. I've really enjoyed all the time I've had with you today. I've enjoyed it too. I wish we could have more fun like this together. It would be nice. You hooked your finger under his collar and gave it a tight tug, a light tug. You've had this on for a while now. You really like it, huh? Yeah. It makes me feel like I'm not the one in control. What do you mean? I feel like I can just relax and not worry about anything. Like it can really just depend on you for everything while I have it on. I know it sounds kind of weird, but it's the best way to explain it. Spencer, you know you can depend on me for anything, whether you're wearing the collar or not. We just talked about that earlier. I know. I'll try to change that. Your hands are, oh man. <laughs> the sexy music kicks in. You know what that fucking means. Oh lord. Your hands moved around to his chest in stone match, and it wasn't a surprise to you that his cork was growing stiff. Looks like someone's enjoying the attention. You knew it was gonna happen. Oh, look at that. Knowing you, you'd planned for it. You wanted more attention than me just petting you, huh? You rubbed your fingertip against the head of his cork, and he squirmed around. I'm not against it. I do believe I promised to handle this tonight anyway, didn't I? I don't... I don't like the main character's face here. It's the, the, with the lighting, I don't know. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not liking it. You did, but... That's not like I expected it. Uh-huh. I'm sure you didn't. Just a horny dog, aren't you? Okay, yeah, we're, we, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta move along, I'm sorry. You know the rule, at this point, we're on episode 150 billion, so, you know, we gotta skip. Sorry, guys, I'll be eating my chicken strips in the meantime. I wanna draw attention to that fucking phrase. Mushroom? Really? Wow. That's, um, that's a phrase. Oh, oh shit. It's getting everywhere. Fuck. Got on the floor. I'm talking about the crumbs from my, uh, the breading on my chicken strip, by the way. Also, it's on the screen. That's fucking gross. That's fucking nasty. Why would you depict it like that? That's fucking nasty. Alright. This is the very end of the day here. They, uh, <laughs> they finished. It was just a hand jab. 
uh, I don't want to say just, it was nice. It was very tender, very enjoyable. Um, we can shower and have a rematch uh, with more. I did skip one thing because Spencer licked it off his face, and I, that's just fucking... That's graphic and bleh, barfy, so not going there, but... Uh, he's offering the shower. Have a rematch with more Kerbo afterwards. How does that sound? It'll give you a chance to even the score, so I'm down for that. Can I just stay here for a little longer? I'm completely spent. Of course. Let's enjoy this afterglow. He knows it'll get your stow match, and you started to pet and scratch him again. I love you so much. I just want to stay here like this with you forever. I love you too, Spence. I'll stay with you for... I'll stay with you... I'll stay here with you for as long as you want. You're mine now and always. I wouldn't have it any other way. He stayed with him on the couch for a little while longer until he was ready for a shower and ready to spend the rest of the night relaxing together. Cue the fucking cuteness. The cuteness. Do, 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 the cuteness. And that is it for uh, day 30... Just 30 of... <laughs> of Spencer's route. I believe what is currently publicly available goes through day 33. That might be wrong. I don't know. Either way, on the next episode, it'll be day 31, and we will be venturing into um, Wednesday. Uh, we know that on Thursday, we're picking up the suit, and on Friday is the wedding. I have no fucking clue what's happening on Wednesday, though. So... Yeah, I know. Um, I mean, he said that he's going to try to go to uh, work to do um, to do some office stuff. Didn't he say during the conversation with Chester and Dozer that he has Wednesdays and Thursdays off? So on the next one, we'll be seeing whatever the fuck Day 31 has to offer. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, and all of the above, uh, I've been chained on- Oh, no, no, no. It's been a bit, and I almost skipped over the YouTuber thing. If you like this series and want to see, um, wait a minute. And if you want- if you like this episode, and you want to play this game for yourself, the link to that is in the description down below. It is free, but in development, you can choose to support it if you want, just be kind. Also in the description are various ways to support me by either following me on my various social medias, or if you want to support me directly through crowdfunding sources like Patreon, or uh, various other options, YouTube memberships, a lot of people have been signing up for that recently, so feel free to, all those links are down there as well. Also down below are various buttons you can use to indicate whether you like this episode or not, like the like button, sharing, commenting if you'd like to tell me how what you liked about this episode. Uh, there's also subscribing if you want to be alerted when future episodes of this come out. You subscribe button, hit the bell. And if you like this particular game and you want to see other games that I have played similar to it, I have put some links to those playlists in the description up above. Here recently, I, uh, for my longer series uh, like this and Repeat and uh, Echo, and I think there was one more, Tennis Ace, yes. For those series, I made character-specific playlists. So there is a Spencer playlist by itself. If you are watching just Spencer so far and you want to check out the other characters, they have their own playlists now. Uh, thanks for the recommendation on that one. So anyway, uh, that all being said, thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, folks, I have been the Chainman Professional, and you are not. Bye, everyone! <laughs>